with Goose Gear and we're here at uh, Overland Expo East and we're here to show off our uh, new 5010 camper system we're importing from Germany and obviously has our Goose Gear interior we did all the electrical water heating plumbing all that kind of stuff and interior cabinetry and uh, just put on this beautiful 5010 German made camper we basically built this truck on a uh, Ford F350 uh, so we've got uh, 1,100 pounds of available payload still after it's completely built out and ready to roll. Put on beautiful Carly suspension and Deaver custom springs, so we have a lot of capability off-road, but we're uh, not sacrificing the payload as well. Electrical systems, heating systems we put in this, so we have S-Bar diesel heater, Victron control systems, Victron battery systems, shore power connection so we can charge it if we're not going to use it for a while. It makes it very easy. Air trucks both sides. We ran uh, extreme outback charge. Ran uh, with extreme outback uh, air compressors. Did an auxiliary air tank also, so it's good air because 37 inch tires you need to have room. Um, put some method 701 wheels on, which had the bead grip, which is really nice, and ran some general tire mud grabbers, which are really a great, great tire. Still rides well on the freeway and obviously incredible traction off road. So units have. Lots of storage. A huge drawer back here, full of tools. Tons of weight, tons of capacity. Keeps the tools low and out of the way. Not using them all the time. And then of course storage compartments on both sides. So a place to put stuff on both sides. Everything's very well sealed. You can actually see the dirt around it, but not the dirt inside of it. Just a tiny bit of dust. And this hasn't been cleaned in a few months of wheeling. So we did our cabinets all the way around. We did our S-Series cabinets, which is a new frame that we designed and built specifically for vans and for camper type systems like this. You can load your gear outside and still access it from inside the truck. So you don't have to crawl in and out to load your gear when you get ready to go on a trip, sleeping bags, you know, all your clothes and stuff like that. Now on the inside, So we just built a ladder, it folds out and on the inside. We have this beautiful bed that folds up out of the way. So now you and I can stand in here and have room to move around. You got seating for four, five, six people in here. So if you're friends and it starts raining outside, you can bring everybody in and sit down and get out of the weather. We have on inboard, onboard sink, we have hot and cold water. We're using a, a passive radiator heater off of the S-Bar heater. We have our little storage here for trash cans, all our cleaning supplies, that kind of stuff. And then this bin, these bins are actually removable, so we have these bags you can take from inside or outside. Most of the time, obviously given good weather, we're cooking outside. When it's uh, inclement weather, we come inside, take all the bags, we can work up here, go up to the countertop, put our stove in here, do a little cooking. But like I said, most of the time we're outside because we want to be outdoors. The bed is a nice huge bed. It's almost a queen size bed, seven feet long. This is actually a queen size blanket and uh, just tons of room. Really big bed for this size camper. Fridge, we went to Mudic fridge. We did a vertical, you know, RV marine grade fridge. 110 liter fridge freezer, lots of storage. Super easy to use. This is our access to all of our storage we showed you outside, so you can get into your bags and stuff like that. And then we have toilet. So there's a wrap-on green toilet, so you can use this as an electronic toilet. Really convenient when you're in the, in the desert where there's not a lot of trees, not a lot of rocks to hide behind. <laughs> so, yeah, and that's basically it. This is our camper system, and we're loving it. Very sweet setup. Thank you, sir. Thank you.